for those who maybe didn't watch the movie and maybe aren't familiar with their story, this storyline, tell me a little bit about it. Well, it takes place seven years after essentially the world has frozen over and a very enterprising, uh, I don't want to say young man, he's a middle-aged man, figures out that uh, we don't know where the earth is going to thaw out first, so we need a train that goes all around the world, so wherever it thaws out first, when it does thaw out, we can get off the train and start colonizing the world again. Osweiler. Shifty little dodger. I can't wait to slap him with this. Good, but hold up. You're at an impasse with this case, so today I'm shaking the hell out of this tree and make something fall out. Okay, the train is like a small town, so everyone's gonna know you're coming. It speaks a lot to the class system and um, poverty versus wealth. Yes, I think it is an allegory for our times in mm -hmm. the sense that, you know, there are people who, uh, look, you can, there are people who have nicer homes. There's people who have better health care. There's people who eat better food. They drive better cars. That's the way that it is. And uh, should that be the way that it is? That's something that the show talks about in the stories, uh, especially when it comes down to the fact that there's only 4,000 human beings left on, you know, the planet and they're, you know, circling this globe why should some people be living in extreme comfort and other people be uh, you know, living in devastation? You know, I think that what's interesting about the character that I'm playing is, and when I, in the first few episodes, it's like, hey guys, look, we gotta have some rules here because clearly nobody was following any of the rules, which is why we're in this situation. I think we're in a moment right now where we are, we have an opportunity to really listen to other people tell their stories. And that's what's a very interesting thing that's happening with uh, Brakeman Roche on this show. Uh, he's forced to listen to a story that he hasn't heard before. And what happens when the light of that story starts to crack into his heart and his head? Fighting to do what I know is right. 